festive. Can we tell? Um, today's video is all about quick, easy, simple, let's get it done, Christmas Day makeup. I have not got time as a busy mum to spend two hours on Christmas morning doing my face. But I do want to get dressed up and feel all fancy on Christmas Day because it's Christmas Day, goddammit. I'm also giving a lot of tips on um, skincare prep before makeup and the different skin types and how you can deal with that and how to choose the correct products for your skin type um, going into your makeup look. So the correct primer for your skin type or concern, the correct foundation for your skin type or skin concern, and the correct primer and foundation to go together. Um, so lots and lots of tips, lots and lots of um, fun along the way. So yeah, keep watching. Go and subscribe while you're there, but keep watching and enjoy yourself and I'll see you at the end. Bye-bye now. Right, let's get going on this here festive face. Um, First thing you need is a decent um, starting point for your skin. So my top tip for makeup that will just stay there and look fabulous all day, you will look fabulous all day, you will feel fabulous all day as you absolutely deserve to, you make Christmas happen so you're the one that deserves the most on Christmas day. So um, the best way we can do this is to start the night before. Do you remember how like, our mums used to like whack the turkey in the night before? Well, we can start our faces the night before and it's so easy. And I think as well, it's a really good way of just sitting and just calming for a minute. So we've done all the Christmas Eve activities. We've got there, it's bedtime, it's Christmas Eve, Santa's coming, well excited. Um, if we just spend 20 minutes, cleanse your face or wash your face or whatever your skincare routine in the evening is, and then pop a face mask on for whatever skin you have. So if you've got, you know, dry or dehydrated skin like I can have, um, then we want something that's gonna be very moisturizing, maybe a sheet mask that's got um, serum built into it, so that will just inject just so much moisture straight into your skin. If you are dealing with oily skin or skin that's breaking out, then a clay mask is really, really good for just settling that and just balancing it. Give it a good 20 minutes, take it off, wash it off, whatever you need to do. If you've got a sheet mask, don't wash it off. Do not use a toner after it. Oh my God, I see so many people doing this and I think, what's the point? Right, I'm gonna switch to a t-shirt because I'm getting too hot, so bear with. There, that's better. I got me Christmas pusheen t-shirt on. Love it. So, Christmas morning, we've run downstairs with the kids, we've seen if Santa's been, we've opened the presents, we've gone round with the bin bag. Uniform of all mums on Christmas morning. Bin bag. And then you've usually got a bit of time, haven't you, between the kids opening the presents and getting all excited, where they then go and just like play with what they've got or use what they've got or sit and look at what they've got. And you've usually got a little bit of time before you need to start doing the massive to-do list on Christmas morning. And that for me is the time where I feel like it's a really good opportunity to just pop back upstairs or into your dressing room or whatever and just spend a little bit of time on you and just getting yourself together and getting yourself feeling all festive and fabulous and that is what we're gonna do today. So, the most important step in your makeup routine, cosmetic product wise, because we want it to last all day and because we're gonna be busy, we're gonna be obviously smiling, greeting people, drinking, eating, cooking, all that stuff, we want our makeup to just last all day and just stay there and just look fabulous at the end of the day as it does at the beginning of the day so you need a good primer just like the face masks it depends one on what skin type you have and what effect you're looking for and two what foundation you're using the thing that i'm targeting at the moment is some texture that was kind of under my eye and around my cheeks so for me my primer is all about blurring and getting rid of that texture just so I feel a bit more confident and I've got a bit more of a flawless base going on. So I've got a couple of options on um, primer for you. The one that I am preferring at the moment is the Fasale Skin Tune Blur. Um, I was a little concerned about spending the money. It's very, very pricey. The full size bottle of this is £50. So I was a little bit like, mm, I ain't spending £50 just to find out whether I like it or not. So I got the small bottle from ASOS, I think this was, and this was £20. So I thought, okay, I'm, I'm prepared to pay that to see if I like it. And oh my God, I absolutely love it. This is, without doubt, the best texture getter-ridder-of, um, pore blurring. If that's something that you are 
um, concerned with or that's something you're trying to work on at the minute I can highly recommend this one and this one is skincare as well so it actually does something nice for your skin whilst it's on I also have and I've just not got it out for some reason I also have the Fenty Beauty pore blurring primer which is another one of my favorites it's gorgeous and i feel like that the fenty one actually is very very hydrating but if you are looking for um similar products on a budget i've got a couple from revolution beauty so i've got this one by makeup revolution which is the pore blur blur and prime primer so this one is really really good it comes out like a very light peachy color then it's for me anyway it seems to just disappear so i feel like it's a universal one it doesn't say anything about the shades then i've got um the blur stick by revolution pro this one is really weird it's like a roll-on deodorant um and again it looks quite tan but this disappears this does actually say universal face primer so this is apparently for every skin tone um i'm not sure whether it would make darker skin tones look ashy or not so if that's uh you know something that you're concerned about then i'm clearly not the influencer to be talking about that but it does say universal these in particular the blurring ones these are both uh, silicone based and the Fasali one is water based as well so the reason that is important is foundations are also silicon based or water based water and silicone do not mix they literally repel each other so if you're using a silicon based primer with a water based foundation it will separate it will just look awful it will feel awful it will be the first ingredient on there you don't need to have a chemistry degree to understand you know what what it is if it doesn't say on the front it probably won't say um you know water based primer it will just say what the effect on your skin it has that hydrating blurring mattifying so if you turn it over and look on the ingredients the main ingredient in any cosmetic product will be the first one on the list. The, the one that has the least amount in it will be the last one on the list, okay? So the going um, order of how much of that ingredient is in the product. So if your primer says something like silica or, yeah, we've got triglyceride in this one. We've got silica. We've got um, dimethicone. Anything that's cone, silicone, um, anything like that it's a silicon based primer so you're going to need a silicon based foundation to go with it but anything that says aqua as the first ingredient or literally water that's a water based primer so then you need a water based foundation to go with it okay that makes sense marvelous okay so i'm going to be using the fasale skin Dream blur as my primer which is the water based primer so as i've already said my main areas are here and here so again, foundations, you need to think about your skin type. There's no point putting a mattifying uh, foundation on dry, dehydrated skin. Similarly, if you've got oily skin, stay away from hydrating primers. Again, um, we've got a few options for you. So I've got actually two from Fenty, which, is, which are the Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation and also the original uh, Pro Filter Foundation, which is the mattifying one. So again, for me, it can go either way. I have days where my skin is oily and I need the mattifying one. I have days where my skin is dry AF and really dehydrated and I need the hydrating one. But if you're looking again for something a bit more um, budget friendly, the Revolution um, Conceal and Define and Conceal and Hydrate Ranges I think are little dupes for these so the conceal and define range is the mattifying range the conceal and hydrate is the hydrating range yet the uh, conceal and define and conceal and hydrate are both nine pounds on revolutionbeauty.com so the same price um, and yet yeah, they are a dupe I think for the Fenty ones so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this with a sponge There's a lot of chatter about whether it's better to use a sponge or a brush and uh, you know, does a sponge soak up some of the product? Um, obviously, a sponge is going to soak up a little bit of it by the very nature of it being a sponge. That's what it does. But I haven't met a foundation brush yet that doesn't get the foundation product on it as well. There is no applicator that I know of, including your hands, that won't have some of the foundation on it as well. Like, it just doesn't happen. Like anything you put your foundation on with is going to hold on to some of the product 
whatever works for you whatever you enjoy whatever you find easier to use whatever you think you get a better finish with and whatever works better for your skin just use that who cares right so that's that done so next for me i go in and conceal under the eye uh, my favorite concealer at the moment is the jeffree star magic star concealer and i use this in c6 we've then again got a revolution as the drugstore alternative i've just found the revolution ones to be the best in the drugstore um again in terms of coverage shade range um lasting power um i just find them really really good so again as with the foundation they've got the conceal and define and the conceal and hydrate so again it depends on what your skin needs these are both seven pounds i think yeah just did a check on the website these are seven pounds each so again just pick whichever formula works best for you um but i'm today gonna go in with the jeffree star one because it is christmas and i do leak so There we go, that was one dip. I didn't have to re-dip at all and it's done the whole shovel on. Next thing on the list is setting powder, actually. Um, and again, this is something that will depend on your skin type. If you've got dry skin, I would say don't worry about setting powder because you just don't need it. You shouldn't need it anyway. Um, if you do want to use it or you do feel like you do need it a little, just dip a brush in. Don't use a sponge. Dip a brush in, tap it off and just very, very quickly just wipe it around. You do not need a lot and it doesn't need to stay on and bake because it will just suck the, any moisture that you've got in your skin. It will just suck it straight out and it will cling to the dryness of your skin and just make your foundation not look flawless, which is what we're not about um i kind of have weird skin that sort of likes it sort of doesn't depending on the day um and the two that i've found that are absolutely brilliant are the jeffree star um magic star setting powder and the and the revolution conceal and fix setting powder this one is 22 pounds this one is eight pounds um fairly similar to be honest however this one is a lot more finely milled so it, it kind of um I wouldn't say this one is KK, but this one definitely isn't KK. This one also smells of uh, candy floss, which I sort of forget every time. And then I open it and think, oh, oh my God, it smells so nice. And I'm just going to dip my sponge in for that one, tap off the excess and just press that into where I want it to be. And then, just like I mentioned, if you've got dry skin, take a big fluffy brush like this, dip it in, tap off the excess, and you just want to just really gently just brush it over like that. Um, if you've got oily skin, you probably want to bake, which you would use the sponge for. Uh, pop on your powder where you need it. Pop on like loads. Don't, um, don't brush it away quickly. Um, pop it on, go into a different um, section of your makeup, like maybe go into your eyeshadow or maybe go into your contour, your bronze, um, and let the powder kind of warm up and sink in and you'll be golden with that one. Oh, this makeup's looking awful on my nose where my ulcer is. Ugh. Right, eyeshadow wise, again, it boils down to you and your preference and your skin tone and you know the, the, just the type of eyeshadow you like you might want to put on a shimmer you might prefer all matte you might want a bit of glitter for me i'm just going for quick and easy so i'm just going in with my nyx uh, warm neutrals palette which is just like it says on the tin it's just a bunch of warm neutrals yeah i'm not going to put a huge amount on i'm just going for a little sweep of color then just throw in some mascara on um just for it to just be a bit done so i'm gonna use a fluffy brush this one is the uh morphe and jeffree star js5 so just a standard fluffy brush and i think i'm gonna go in with i think i'm gonna go in with this um deeper ready brown there it's not massively deep but it's a deeper ready brown in this palette and i'm just gonna dab that into each crease on the outer edge there and then my little tip from my little katie eve who i love beyond all comparison is to follow the brow bone and 
tap onto it and then you just use that to move over into the middle. You don't need to use a separate amount to go all the way in. So this dip, you just start to circle in this way. And again, following the brow bone. There we go. And you can add more or blend more as you see fit, but that's good for me. I am good with that one. What's good, Miley? That's good. Well happy. Um, then I'm going to go in with my finger. So I'm going to take this coppery uh, pinky orange shade next to the deep one that we just took. And I'm just going to pop that on my finger. And then I'm just going to dab that over the lid. I'm not going for the full shablama glam. That is coming on New Year. So if you want in the full shablama glam, you're going to have to wait a couple of weeks. Looks like you've made an effort and taken ages, but we know we have not. Okay, mascara wise, again, it all depends on you, your lashes, what type they are, what effect you like. Some people like the lashes to look really thick and clumpy and poke myself in the face. Some people like the lashes to be really, really um, lengthened and separated. Some people like the lashes to look really thick and um, lots of different mascaras claim to give you all those different effects. Um, three of my favourites are the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara, um, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, um, I am loving actually the False Lash Queen Mascara from Primark, which I think is a dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, um, really really impressed with this one. So yeah, they're all really good but they all do different things and it depends on your preference and what kind of look you're going for on that day. So I'm gonna today use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm gonna just give that a lovely little, uh, lovely little few coats of this. I love my eyelashes. I know exactly how lucky I am um, to have my eyelashes. I've got thick, long, curly lashes and I know, I know. I'm very appreciative of them. I love them. So I like to show them off. I mean, why not? Before I'm going to go and put my lippy on or anything like that, I'm going to set my face. So this is where if you've got put powder on and you feel like it's a bit cakey, don't worry until you get to this stage or just put some setting spray on immediately and it just settles it down. So again, you want to be thinking about the type of skin you've got. So like you've done with your primer and your foundation, um, be mindful about whether you need a hydrating uh, fixing spray, whether you need a mattifying fixing spray or whether you want those two things. Um, you might have totally normal skin that's neither dry nor oily, but you prefer looking matte, in which case you would want a mattifying fixing spray. You might have totally normal down the middle skin, which is neither oily nor dry, but you like that glowy look, so you would either get a glowy or a hydrating fixing spray. So again, it's totally down to you, your preferences, your skin type, all of that stuff. I am a huge fan at the moment of the Revolution Hydrate and Fix. I always want to call it Conceal and something, but it's not. It's Hydrate and Fix uh, Fixing Spray. As the name suggests, it's a hydrating one, so it gives me that dewy, glowy look, which I've already got avec the uh, highlighter. So, spritz, spritz. Um, and that just kind of gets rid of that powdery look and just settles and is all beautiful. While that is drying, let's talk lippies. So for me, on Christmas Day, I love nothing more than a red liquid lip. And my favourite are the liquid suede from NYX. Still obsessed with these. Um, if you like uh, a more glossy kind of finish, you don't like a matte lip, um, then I can highly recommend the Obsession Lip Glosses. The formula on these are second to none. It is incredible. But as I say, my favourite for Christmas Day is a matte red uh, liquid lip. And my favourite red is the NYX Liquid Suede and it's Kitten Heels. So let me go and line. And I've got the matching lip liner in Kitten Heels as well. So I'm just going to quickly line my lips because with a red, I feel like... I don't know, it just helps to keep it more secure and you can kind of crisp up the edges as well. So if you're a little bit unsure about or you're a little bit not confident in applying a red lipstick, just get a liner and go around it afterwards and it just neatens up those edges as well. So. For me as well, a matte lip on Christmas Day just makes so much sense because they last longer, they just don't budge and they stay on all day. So I just don't have to think about it.
So then whilst that's drying, have a look. If there's any kind of raggedy edges, just go round it with your lip pencil. And there we go. Christmas day, ready. Ah, what do you think? I think so. What do you think, Charlotte? Fabulous. Love it. <laughs> So you are now ready to go and entertain your entire family, keep them in the Christmas spirit all day long and just amuse yourself entirely. Uh, also, you know, you can just get yourself through the day whilst we all wait for the inevitable sob fest that is the uh, Call the Midwife Christmas special. Um, but I hope makeup wise that's been really easy and there's been some good tips if you are a total beginner to um, festive makeup and if you think, you know, a red lip is a bit much for you then it's not it's the easiest thing in the world it's just a couple of little tips to go with it and the lip liner afterwards being my top tip um so i hope you found that useful i hope you found it entertaining um if you have make sure you go and subscribe to the channel make sure you give this video a big thumbs up make sure you come and leave me a comment let me know what you think let me know what your favorite product is let me know what you're going to be doing on christmas day Thank you very much. Um, so yeah, um, thanks for watching and I will see you in a couple of days in my next video on here or I'll see you every day over on Layla Land Extra where I presume you are already subscribed to. Mm, yes? No? Well, if not, go and do that. Um, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.